What's going on guys? Uh, today I want to make this quick video discussing a new calculator I've made. Um, it is a retirement income calculator. Um, I'm sure there's tons on the internet that you, you know you can look up and use, but I wanted to make one just a little bit simpler and you know one that you could just quick quickly change the values just to get an idea and a picture of what your retirement income might look like. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and punch in some numbers here. So this calculator is typically, you know, it's going to be either a traditional IRA, a Roth IRA, you know, I guess you can include your brokerage account. Um, so there's a couple different options we can, you know, include here. So for the Roth IRA, if you're not familiar, um, the maximum annual contribution is $6,000 a year. Um, I believe that does, you know, increase if you're over the age of 50. Um, I think it increases either by 500 or 1,000. Um, I'll have to do some more research on that and figure that out for you guys. Um, but let's just assume that you're under the age of 50. Um, let's just say, say you're 20 years old, right? And you're able to afford $500 a month and put that away until you reach the, reach the age of 60. Um, so what you would do here is you'd come here and you type in the monthly contribution so like I said, it's going to be $500 a month or $6,000 a year. Um, you could technically just put in $6,000 in January or you know, the start of the year, whatever you want to. But let's just say you're going to do a monthly contribution here. Like I said, the starting age is 20 and the retirement age is 60. It technically can be 59 and a half, but I'm just going to round that up. Okay, so this number, you know, it's defaulted to 6%, but we have a couple options here. The stock market is definitely volatile. You know, some years you'll go up 20, some years you go down 20. Um, but over, you know, the span of 40 years, we're looking for, you know, anywhere between 7 and 10%, 6 and 10%. Um, 6 is definitely probably a little bit more conservative. But let's just, you know, go with 7%, and then we can obviously change it later if we want to. So that is our average return every year over 40 years. Not necessarily every year, but the compounded um, annual rate. Okay. Then the next field, this is the withdrawal rate. So whenever we get to our retirement age, you know, there's different percentages of how much we can withdraw from our portfolio. A popular one is 4%. Um, there's a lot of research on that. Um, so let's just go ahead and select that one for now. And then, like I said, for this example, we're just going to assume this is a Roth IRA account. So we're not going to have any income tax for those withdrawals. Let's click calculate. And as you can see here, after 40 years of contributions, our portfolio value at a 7% return is going to produce us around 1.2, almost $1.3 million dollars of portfolio value. And if we use the 4% withdrawal rate, we're going to be looking at a $51,000 retirement income, which is pretty cool. Uh, but some other things that we need to include um, that aren't included in this illustration are fees. So depending on what, you know, what broker you're with, you're going to have expense ratios and different account management fees. Um, so definitely include that whenever you're going to be making these illustrations. Um, another thing to consider is inflation. So over 40 years, there's obviously going to be a lot of inflation. Um, as you guys can see from this year, you know, the government is pumping. Sorry, getting a phone call. Uh, the government is pumping money into the economy. Um, they're just printing money like crazy. So we can, you know, definitely expect to see um, a lot of inflation in the future. So that is something else to consider as well. Um, I know typically the average rate was around 2%, 1 to 2%, 1 to 3%, something like that. But obviously that's probably going to be going up in the, in the future um, just because of all the stuff that's been going on. So that $51,000 over 40 years, um, that's not going to be the same value of what $51,000 would be today. Um, so definitely remember that as well when you're going through these illustrations. 
So let's just go ahead and do another one. So say, um, you know, the key with this, and you're about to see in a second, the key with this is the earlier you can start, the better. Um, so let's just say you waited to your 25. So you waited five, five more years before you could afford this monthly contribution. What is that going to cost us? So remember 51,000 and then 1.28. Wow. Okay, so almost over $400,000 different here, difference here. And then a $16,000 of income by just waiting five years. So let's see if you waited till you were 30. Yeah, so you're, I mean, half. Waiting 10 years created half the amount of um, overall portfolio value and your retirement income. So as you can see with this simple calculator, um, I'm hoping you could see the importance of starting early. Um, because if we wanted to get back to, say we started at 30, obviously we'll have to do another account, maybe like a traditional IRA or some other kind of retirement vehicle. But so we'd have to put a thousand dollars a month and that still wouldn't get us to where we were at before. Maybe 1100 well. Yeah, so 1100. So personally, I'd rather be putting in $500 a month compared to 1100. Um, so, you know, that just goes to show the earlier you start, the better. Um, and, you know, taking advantage of tax-free growth is very important too. You know, the government has different vehicles. You know, there's Roth IRAs. Um, there's health savings accounts. There's, there's different vehicles you could, you know, invest in to pretty much harvest some of those, um, some of those taxes. Another one that I'm a big fan of is uh, cash value life insurance. Um, that's a little bit different than investing in the stock market. Um, you are definitely going to have to do more research on that to see if that's something you might be interested in as well. Um, I know there's a lot of people that are not big fans of it, but I personally, you know, like the tax free growth and the early liquidity. Um, and there's many other features too that I like about it as well. Um, so I, I think that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Um, I'll leave a link below where you guys can check this out. You guys can plug in some numbers and kind of get a feel for, you know, where you're at currently, um, you know, whether you should be contributing more or whatever. Um, obviously, these were kind of conservative. You know, a 7% return, personally, I think is, is a, little, a little conservative. Um, so you can obviously come in here and adjust that. Obviously, I didn't go any higher than 10%, but maybe I'll let this, maybe I'll make some changes to this web app and, and allow that to kind of be free text so you can enter whatever you want. But I mean, if you're making more than 10% over um, over 30 or 40 years, like that's pretty impressive. You know, the S&P 500 is, is doing, I haven't checked it in a while, but I think it was like 8 or 9%. Um, so that's very doable, but let's just see what 10% would have been. Yeah, so I mean... This is just another important two, you know, the difference of one percentage point. Let's just go like 2.4 million and one, the difference of 1%. Whew. Wow. So over four or $500,000 difference there of 1% over 30 years, you know, even when you go farther out. So we're at 4.861. Yeah, so that's a big difference, guys. So always, always know what your fees are. Um, you know, you might be investing in a, a fund or, you know, you might have a brokerage account somewhere that the fees are higher than, you know, the typical average in the market today. So if you're not aware of the fees that you're paying, paying definitely look into that. And um, because like you see here, over 30, 40 years, the difference of 1% is... Um, is very very important. Um, the difference of five six hundred thousand dollars over one percent. Um, so that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I hope you guys got some value from it. Um, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe if you uh, want to see more videos like this. And as always, um, thanks for watching, guys.